Linux Survival Guide, Part 1. In this part of the Linux Survival Guide, we will be going over the basics of getting started with Linux, choosing a beginner-friendly, easy-to-use, distribution, which you are likely to permanently settle on, and we will also show you some great free and open source apps you can use to replace proprietary ones. As certain people are gaining an interest in migrating to Linux, we need to help them and educate them about Linux, the pros and cons of using it, etc. So these series are all about helping you transition to Linux, easily and smoothly. Surviving on Linux will require you to stay on one distro, there is a thing known as distro hopping, where the user chooses one Linux distro but then jumps to another in a matter of days, weeks, possibly even months. Distro hopping is bad because you're constantly changing distros and having to learn something new, which can make Linux look like a bad operating system, when in reality it's your own fault you do not like it, either because you cannot adopt to using free and open source software, or Linux is simply too hard for you to comprehend. Highly recommended beginner-friendly Linux distributions include Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Various spin-offs of Ubuntu are also available, Peppermint OS, Pop OS, Zorin OS, and Elementary OS, all of these distros are great for newcomers to Linux. They keep the transition seamless while giving you a functional, stable, and robust operating system, which will never blue screen or crash, and if you have an older PC or laptop laying around, that might make for the perfect companion to try a Linux distro on. Linux often gives old hardware new life, or at least extends it by a few years or more, some lightweight distros that are great for older computers include Linux Lite, Linux Mint XFCE Edition, Lubuntu, Xubuntu, and Zorin OS Lite, which when compared to Zorin OS Pro or Normal, is feature limited but offers a stable and reliable operating system that functions well on less powerful hardware. Linux really shines when it comes to running on less powerful systems. Surviving on Linux not only requires you to stay with a single distro, but it also requires you to use free and open source replacements for proprietary apps, and the worst part is, that's not always something you can do, however, many popular applications, ranging from office suites to video editors, audio editors, to renting clients, you name it. A lot of popular proprietary software often has a free equivalent to it, take LibreOffice as an example, it's a free equivalent to Microsoft Office, which as many of you know is not free, and it is not natively available for Linux, so Linux users needed a free equivalent that could do just about as much as the Windows and Mac users could, and all of a sudden, we've seen a massive increase in the amount of people using free and open source stuff, simply because it's free of charge has no ongoing costs, and it's open source, so those tech heads with coding skills can do whatever they want with the code. Provided that you can stick with a distro long term, and use free software to do work, you should be able to survive on Linux with no problems, however, if you really badly need a Windows specific application, you can use various workarounds, we will cover those in our next Linux survival guide video. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.